climate change is the greatest challenge facing humanity today. The effects of climate change are being felt all over the planet, but not equally. Africa is widely recognized as one of the continents most vulnerable to climate change impacts. According to the United Nations, Africa is already experiencing temperature increases of approximately 0.7 degrees Celsius over much of the continent, and predictions indicate that temperatures will continue to rise. The United Nations estimates that by the year 2025, 230 million Africans will be facing water scarcity, and 460 million will live in water-stressed countries. According to the United Nations, droughts, combined with population growth, a lack of sustainable land and water management, natural disasters, political conflicts and tension, and other factors have resulted in massive population movements across Africa. While it is clear that humans are currently being displaced by sporadic climate change events and natural disasters, is there a relationship between climate change indicators and current human migration patterns? A 2011 report by the United Nations Environmental Program about Africa's Sahel region identified that traditional migration patterns are increasingly being replaced by a more permanent southward shift in the region. The report also identified that the increased frequency and severity of climate-related disasters, such as floods and drought, could lead to more permanent migration over time. The purpose of this project was to examine the relationship between climate change factors and human migration in Africa in order to answer the following questions. Is the rate of change in human migration correlated to the rate of change in temperature? And is the rate of change in human migration correlated to the rate of change in precipitation? Three data sets were necessary to conduct this analysis. Temperature, precipitation, and number of individuals migrating from each African country. Migration data for each African country was available in four five-year intervals, spanning from 1990 to 2010. Temperature and precipitation data sets were averaged to match the five-year intervals available in the migration data set. Next, the percent change in migration flows temperature and precipitation for the four five-year intervals for each African country was calculated using 1990 to 1995 as the baseline interval. As shown on these maps, most countries in Africa appear to be experiencing larger percent increases in temperature compared to the baseline five-year interval of 1990 to 1995. The precipitation data set appears to show a mainly positive net percent increase in precipitation over time compared to the baseline five-year interval of 1990 to 1995. The migration data set does not appear to show any kind of noticeable trend over time when comparing to the baseline five-year interval of 1990 to 1995. After mapping the temperature, precipitation, and migration data sets, two regression analyses were conducted. The first regression used all available data points to examine the relationship between percent temperature change and percent migration change. The regression analysis did not show any significant relationship between these two factors. The second regression also used all available data points but this time to examine the relationship between percent precipitation change and percent migration change. This regression also did not show any significant relationship between these two factors. Lastly, each data point was categorized as either warm dry, warm wet, cool dry, or cool wet to see if there were clusterings of these data points on the graph. The data did not display any noticeable clustering patterns. Many other factors, such as current and post-war conflicts, political instability, and weak economies, are likely affecting migration patterns throughout Africa. 
Although the results do not show a relationship between climate change factors and migration in Africa, further research should be done on this topic. Some researchers have argued that how people respond to climate change will likely depend on their economic status. Future studies should consider separating countries in Africa based on economic status and then evaluating how climate change impacts may be affecting migration patterns.